boy super and today I'm playing 2064 read only memory going to retro old school today so I, um, I think this is an, an adventure game I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit start a new game I think it's like a 2D adventure game. I read it very briefly about an hour ago. I must have Neo a bad memory. San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any it's perfect time human since life. Cyberpunk just came out to play Millions something similar. Of jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain to machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up my with TV the fast down. Space changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations like the Human Revolution seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. And with this, it's a long intro. humanity's destiny will be altered forever. I gotta turn my headphone volume down. Hold on a sec. All right. Read only memories, a new cyberpunk adventure. Press button twice to skip. Alright, well. Hurry up and I won't have to skip. Prologue. Home sweet home. So it looks like we got a menu. Nothing's moving. Okay, maybe not so sweet. Musty might be a better descriptor. Here we got a sheet of paper. Look at the sheet of paper. Talk to the sheet of paper. Pick up the sheet of paper. Let's talk to it. A page only holds the opinions of its author. This one's blank. Look at sync. Use an item on sync. Turn on sync. Look at sync. You don't know exactly what that is. It is only that it seems to be growing day by day. Okay, let's get back to the paper. Sheet of paper. Let's look at it. A single piece of loose unsorted paper lies on the ground. Alright, let's pick it up. Put it in our backpack. It sort of suits the room's aesthetic better with it there on the ground, don't you think? No, I don't think. Okay. About <clears throat> book. Let's look at the book. A copy of Wigfield. Sometimes the old books are the best, especially to keep your window propped open. Dead by Daylight's ready to play. Coffee. Look at coffee. Coffee, the great equalizer. The one thing that poor and rich alike need to chug through the day, you assume. Let's drink coffee. You take a sip of the old stale coffee. 
The letters F and K seem clear as day. It's also really gross. The lappy. Let's look at our lappy. Ah, good old lappy. It may not be the most powerful or the fastest or have the best screen, but, well, it works. Boot up lappy. Live intelligence processing system lips. You have an article due tonight. Better finish it off before bed. Okay today. Look at okay today. Okay today is Neo SF's most beloved morning show all about news and entertainment. People in Neo, Oklahoma are still confused by the name. This is a show's online newspaper called The Scan Line. Okay today is usually all about feel good news, but it does focus on serious current events at times as well. Let's use OK Today. Current Events article. Examine the headline of the Current Events article. A story about the human revolution. <clears throat> Charlie Nova. Click on Charlie Nova. Hey, it's Charlie Nova, host of Star in the Stratosphere. And tonight in the stars, join Ryan D. Jossio and the Hassie Boys for our 10th annual TMI New Year's Eve special, where I'll interview some of the hottest celebrities and find out what their plans are for 2065. Tune in or join us live at Union Square for the big show, starting at 10 p.m. That was awesome. Sports article. Examine the headline of the sports article. A story about our hometown, hometown Neo SF 49ers. Local news article. A story about a broken down Froyo stand. Back button. Okay. Very entertaining. Very entertaining. Journalogic. Journalogic isn't the fanciest program, but it's the only word editor that still gets updates for an old machine as old as yours. Let's use compose using Journalogic. Before you can review the G GX Ultra Beats, you must become one with the GK Ultra Beats. Where did you put those damn headphones, anyways? There's, we gotta find headphones. Lips Live. This is Lips Live, the premier online video network. This app is like a mesh of all active streams. Let's use it. Review it. The walls are paper thin. Watching a live feed at this hour would probably cause your neighbors to kill you. You, you wonder if there could possibly be anything nearby that might aid you on your quest. Inbox. Your inbox. A hell so terrifying, so specific, so personal that... No other living thing should dare enter. Luckily, you're the only person with the password. Well, looks like we got some mail. Spam mail. Read spam mail. Get cheap crash. Only 99 creds for 30 day supply. 212 stems. Scam mail. Read scam mail. Hello there, I am Princess Emma Thomas. Yes, THE Princess Emma Thomas. Heiress to the digital empire of the horse fortune. I write you today as I need your help to secure my great fortune. You see it has become frozen and I need to transfer it to at least five different accounts or the World Bank will seize my credits, amounting to 420,194.1 uh, credits. Please, if you could send your personal credit ID marker to me immediately so that may, I can send you your 20% of the fortune. I'll only require that you send half back upon receipt of the funds. You might keep the rest of the money. The best part, there's literally nothing that can go wrong. <clears throat> so grab yourself some Vegemite and welcome to the Queendom. What is this email? Okay, we got a bill in the email. Let's so read that. Your account is passed due in the, mail, uh, the amount of 1,396.4 credits. Failure to restore your account may result in termination of service. Power plant power. Ah yes, the age cho old choice between food or electricity. Work mail, read work mail. Hey there, I'm the lead editor for What the Fuck Sounds, formerly OMG Sounds. <clears throat> We're a new up and coming audio review feed looking for hot talent who need a platform for their work. We'd love to feature any product reviews you'd like to do for us. We'd, do, we'd be able to give you some great exposure, and if we like your stuff, could possibly throw some cred your way. 
Don't they know people die of exposure? Rent mail. <clears throat> According to this email, your rent is nearly due. Better get that article submitted soon. Promotional mail. A coupon for five credits back on Hassy Infinity. A Hassy Infinity has all of your daily calories with none of the nutritional value, like the opposite of a diet version. Invitation. An invite to come see the lightning, cer lightning ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown from your friends at Dr. Tricia Lee. Why would your dentist invite you to a lighting ceremony? Feels like a trap. Probably a trap. Weekly update. This is your weekly update from Vintage Tech, your number one source for classic technology. Popular pieces this week, the King of Click, a retrospective on the classic model and keyboard. Unsubscribe. Quest denied. Subscription cannot be modified. Right, head back. Log out. So we're gonna look, gotta find some headphones. <clears throat> plant, look at plant. This plant is in pretty bad shape. Isn't this supposed to be one of the easier plants to take care of? Let's use plant. Careful, the poor thing is more fragile than a snowflake. YMO poster. Your friend Hayden gave this to you. The group is old, but the music is timeless. That's what he said, at least. Careful, that's a load-bearing poster. Stack of papers. A stack of papers for your unpublished novel. There's the headphones. GX Ultra Beats headphones. A pair of GX Ultra Beats headphones, the ultimate in budget audio. You better try them out so you can start crafting your review. Alright, pick them up. Headphones added to items. These are those GX Ultra Beats you have to do a product review on. They're smart headphones, so you should be able to use them with some things lying around your apartment. Got the sink, the fridge. The video screen on the front says mustard half full, spoiled milk, 10 days past expired. Okay, so we might be able to use the headphones on the fridge since it has a screen. It's a smart fridge. Let's go ahead and try. You sync up the headphones and listen to a live stream of a cooking show about making ramen using household materials. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you learn that mustard and spoiled milk aren't quite enough to make good ramen. Okay. Menu. Let's check out the menu. And save. Your boy, Super. Your boy, uh, so that'll work. Prologue, four minutes in. Continue. Continue. Why can't I continue? can use uh, <clears throat> the touchpad. Can't click with it though. That's not cool. Okay, so let's head back to the laptop and see if we can write a re review yet. Okay, today. No, we gotta go to use Journal Logic. That's what we gotta use. Uh, go back to the laptop. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me try something. I wanna see if we can uh, use the ear headphones with the laptop first. Use item on Lappy. Use headphones. The GX Ultra Beats sync automatically as you start to watch a live concert from Oakland. Okay, that should be enough testing for the headphones review. Your accountability remains intact right away. 
and I would boot up the Lappy. Uh, run external logic. All right, time to get to work out of the way. Let's do this. Selling your soul, bit by bit, character by character, finished. Now to send it off to the editor. There, your big break. Surely your glowing review of GX Ultra Beats is your ticket out of poverty and into a book deal. Surely. Work is finally out of the way. Time for bed. Or... You could read some okay today and catch up on some news before you sleep. Why not? Let's go ahead and see if there's any new things to read in okay today. The comments on Lips Live about articles like this are never pretty. Human revolution remains vigilant in hashtag stay human protests in upper market. December 19th, the human revolution is on day 10 of their protesting outside various genus clinics around the city, including those in the East Bay and down the peninsula. Genus, the gene splitting treatment facility, has been met with much controversy since the organization reached mainstream exposure over the past few years. Genus employee Mort Crane spoke to OK Today exclusively. According to him, most Genus workers are up in arms, claiming they're being terrorized in their own city. We're here to help people who need gene therapy for their own personal reasons, whatever they are, said Crane. Individual rights have always been of paramount importance to us, he continues, and we believe that our customers have the right to live as they please or require. The human revolution stands behind their claim that genus is diluting the human experience by providing hybrids with gene splicing treatments. The group feels that the goals stated by genus, in addition to newer cybernetic technology, are warping humanity into a very scary, dark future. They're playing God in the most senseless of ways. We were born human. Who are we to mess with our genes and start turning everybody into who knows what, said one protester has to remain anonymous it's ridiculous and scary it's not human more information to follow as the story develops late into the holiday 2064 season june valmer anna okay today you literally can't remember the last time you went to a football game Golden Gate Park vandalism on the rise. December 19th, reports show that local foodie booth JJ's Froyo stand was destroyed last night in what appears to be another case of a rogue ROM committing an act of vandalism. The cart was evidently attacked and damaged by a large ROM that had no shell. Witnesses state that the alleged perpetrator had been randomly appearing at night before lumbering back into the nearby trees on the western side of the park. This is the first case of a ROM being reported to live on its own in the wild, as a stray. Police say that tracking down a potential owner of the ROM is likely impossible. Some speculate that the strange ROM may have been framed by vandals who set their prime crime deliberately to make it appear to have been carried out by the ROM, rogue or under orders. OK Today reached out to Parallax for comment and they assured us that the rogue ROM is purely a myth that tends to pop up conveniently when low revenue businesses have the urge to file an insurance claim. Parallax did not appreciate their reports of vandalism being attributed to their models. Is this wild ROM the real deal or could it be a fairy tale created by those looking to make a quick buck? Or perhaps there's something else to be gained? More as the story progresses, Mel Hopkins OK Today. Alright, so I think we're supposed to head to bed now. Go to sleep.
Good, you're finally awake. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. Well, it's mine. Mind your own business. Are opposed to cybernetic augments? What? How did you get into my apartment? What the heck, Key? How did you get in here? I came in through the door, of course. The cryptographic algorithms it uses are actually quite atrocious. It only took me 17 trillion clock cycles to break your entry code. It looks Only. rather imposing, but it's actually a knockoff of the Seku Gate M stroke 14723 stroke B. 17 trillion? The Seku Gate M14? I knew my landlord was full of it when he said it was the best. Let's go ahead and befriend it. I know my landlord was full of it when he said Don't it was the best. Too bad. a bit when I cross-referenced likely numeric combinations against the stored personal data on you. I'm not certain why you picked the birthday of your first dog, but it would be sufficiently obscure to defeat most casual attempts to enter. Frankly, I felt a little silly that I took the time to do all that once I noticed that the lock on your window is broken. And that you left it open. My window's lock is broken. You know my dog's birthday? Um, you know my dog's birthday, I guess. I know a lot of things. Honestly, it would have taken me longer if I had to enter the codes manually. But it was trivial to slice through the door's firewall and try against the stored data directly. I would suggest investing in an insect model 1355 automatic security door. The 1385 is newer, but I find the added attack vector introduced by the integrated voice commands isn't worth the convenience. The 1355 also has 300 five-star reviews on Congo. <laughs> Finally, let's ask him what he's doing here. Oh, I hope you don't Get the story going. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using BISAC. BISAC? Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've, uh, run into a bit of a snag. A snag? Unfortunately, <clears throat> your motherboard seems to have had a critical failure while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. An electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. I would consider it no great loss, though. Why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? I don't know. I don't have enough money for don't a new fret. computer. I did manage to back up your data drive's contents on my storage before the crash. Additionally, better, uh... I am willing to serve as your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. It is the least I can do. That's nice, but you still haven't told me why you're here. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Hayden, you know Hayden Lover? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I haven't seen Hayden in over a year. Where is he? I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but you're certainly the most statistically supported. Well, slow down. Just start from the beginning. 
the beginning. <clears throat> okay? Yes, I can do that. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. I crawled out of a window, and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. Hmm. Why would they want Hayden? He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. I suspect it has to do with me. Who are you anyway? What do you have to do with it? Ah, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. I know this must sound quite unflattering. Like the Turing test, I huh? suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. Yeah. He's researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Exploring true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Either to stop his research, or to take it and use it for themselves. Tell me more. A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. They can appear rather smart, even human-seeming, when you talk to them. They're just cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? I like the sound effects. How would you know, one way or the other? How would you? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's Starting to get uh, feelings about the characters. So cute and innocent. I think we're getting a little too philosophical here. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. Why am I your best I hope? ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. And the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. I never looked for a missing person, but I could try. The number don't lie about your investigative skills, but I will admit your total lack of recent successes is worrisome. Don't worry, if Hayden trusted you, I trust you. You're strong-willed and capable. If anything, it's worth trying for Hayden. Was anyone out for Hayden? I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late, and has warned me to stay alert. But he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills, but I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. Well then, I guess we should get started. Indeed. 
time is of the essence. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car has just arrived. Why not go to the police? Yeah, they might be can't. able to help. One of the last <clears throat> things Hayden told me was to avoid the authorities. We must be cautious about who we inform of this. My calculations show that the possibilities of a leak are dangerously high. Corruption, despite being a challenge to public trust as well as cohesion of departmental policies, is still a possibility to consider. If it becomes public that Hayden has been kidnapped, his life may be put in further danger. His chances of escape would surely decrease. We must keep this to ourselves for now, please. Okay, Bobblehead, I'll help you, but there better be a story here. My head does not bobble, thank you very much. <laughs> In addition, <clears throat> I would not expect you to help me without fair compensation. I assure you, there is a story here. Whether you are good enough to find it or not is up to you. I hope you are, for Hayden's sake. All right, lead the way. Ten twenty one twelve twenty one twenty sixty four in the OSF Hayden's apartment. Hmm, that's strange. Hmm. Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Perhaps the maintenance robot took care of it? It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Oh, a lucky break! It seems my access codes still work. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. We shouldn't disturb any evidence, just in case we need to go to the police after all. Agreed. It doesn't look like there was much of a struggle. I'm not surprised. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. Aren't you programmed against harming humans? <laughs> of course not. How silly. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. Comforting, Turing. Why don't you? I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Glad we're clear on that one. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. But I... What's done is done. We need to focus on finding you. Excellent point. Let's start searching for clues. We got, we've got some broken tech on the ground. I'm going to check that stuff out. A ROM component in Hayden's headset. He must have been in the middle of working on something. Let's use it. 
busted. He might have dropped it in the skirmish. Memory card. Look at memory card. It looks like an old high density memory card. Some things in the room might be able to read it. Okay, so let's pick it up then. Memory card added to items. Game consoles, TV, stack of books, window, photos. Let's go to the computer. That's Hayden's computer. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM. But desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Do you know how to get in? There might be clues. Unfortunately, no, I don't. And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. Well, why not? You hacked my door easily enough. Your door used a much simpler set of algorithms with a much weaker processor. I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter-intrusion software, if I attempt to slice in. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. Can't you just download the knowledge from the mesh net? I could, but much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it, I'm not certain I would be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security expert. The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. While computers can only think in straight lines, humans can think sideways and upside down. I lack that ability. Are you incapable of that kind of creative leap? Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds, I just don't think I'm very good with computers. I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. Abstract art doesn't seem like something a robot would be good at. That's true. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. But I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. Let's get back to searching. Let's use the memory card on the computer. Oh, let's try the headphones. The hum of the standby screen has no melody. Let's try the memory card. Doesn't fit, need compatible slots, huh? Okay, how about the game consoles? Put, you can't put the memory card in there. A few vintage video game consoles. Hayden was always the fan of old tech. There's a Mega 16, a Dural, and even a Famalink. We gain the strength of the temptation to resist. That we resist. I don't know, round parts, let's look at those. Hayden spends so much of his time at home building ROMs, as if he doesn't do enough of that at work. What reason would you have for taking this? You don't even own a ROM. Let's use the memory card on the ROM parts. Oh, well, we can't, but we could use the headphones. A ROM only needs a few parts to get a voice, like Turing has. Maybe this one's better as it is, after all. Use the memory card. Of, oh, no, can't use it. Use the memory card on the uh, TV. No. You sync to the TV and listen to boring news in high def. I 
Or maybe it's just not plugged in right. Out of battery. Oh, I think I see something under those reference books. Alright, let's move them then. And now we got a tablet. Ah, that device. I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. The memory card slot is empty. It seems to be a match for the memory card you discovered. Uh, we can't use it without the card. Okay, I'll put the memory card in it. Put the thing in the doohickey. Trophy earned. P puzzle your first puzzle. Memory card removed from items. He must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Hmm. If only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. The tablet's calendar says he was supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Bring any digital bells? Not really. I guess we'll have to go ask. Says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. I'll mark it on your city map. Stardust, add it to city map. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. Uh, my city map? Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. We shouldn't put that off any longer. Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. I just need to ask you a few questions. This is an exciting thing, I promise. Don't you know literally any everything about me already? You knew my first dog's birthday. <sighs> this is just how things are done. Okay. I'm certain I could spend a few quadrillion clock cycles to bypass that part of my operating system, but that seems less efficient than just running the setup program. So, here we go! Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and organizational manager running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. I'll need to ask you a few questions, and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? How come it won't work? How do I enter my name? It's not working. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I wonder what I did to make it work. There we go. <clears throat> Come on. Go, come on. B. Oh, crap. Oh. S U P Done. Your boy soup. Do you wish to keep this name? Yes. Thank you. I have input your name. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? Please enter your pronoun. Okay, it's working a little better. Just call me soup. I could actually put a an R on it. There we go. Call me Super. Super. Such a weird option to have for a video game. What pronouns should I call you? Like the LGBTQ. I don't know why you, it's such a uh, glitchy way when it's typing like I'm I'm pressing the button like five or six times before it actually selects it even on the done character the done uh, word and it like moves really slow the cursor That's a pronoun. Should have just been able to select the first one for all of them. Oh, well, that wouldn't make any sense because they have to be different uh, tenses. Such a hassle to type. <clears throat>
Press my leg over and over again. There we go. So listen. Should it be is or are? Is. <clears throat> Here's how your pronouns look in action. Does that look right? It looks okay to me. Thank you. I have input your pronouns. Finally, could you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? Um, more options. Kosher, gluten-free, vegan, alcohol-free. God dang it, Tori. More options. Let's go with halal. I don't know, like exotic food. Diet set as halal. Are you sure? That's correct. Thank you for confirming. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. In review. Does that sound right? Correct. Thank you. See, that was relatively painless. You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. Um, sure. All I'm right, I'm sure ready to go. To find some common ground while getting to know one another better. It will be an efficient use of our time together. Thank you for escorting me here. You're welcome. Let's head back to your home. This game does not auto save, so please be sure to save frequently. Chapter 1. December 21st, 2064. Outer Neo SF. You know your Crassula Ovada A new cyberpunk adventure. Well. Trophy earned. Tour. You know your Crassula Ovada isn't doing very well? Have you been yeah, I knew that. It? I don't know, maybe. My what? Sometimes things just rattle out of you and I have no idea how to respond to it. Don't plants need lots of water? Don't plants it's need lots of water? It's actually succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. Mildew, time to give the landlord another call. I have, in fact, already taken the liberty considering the broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair, I am not confident he has a history of following through. I would suggest confronting him in person, but I have run a mesh search, and the man is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Perhaps we should bring some sort of a bribe? I will continue to formulate a stratagem. The plant's named Wilty. I got it from a friend a couple months ago. How thoughtful of them. The Crassula ovata, also known as the jade plant, money tree, lucky tree, or friendship tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. Okay, so what do you want me to do about the plant? I'd 
like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. You just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. Sure, Tori. Whatever you want. Excellent. The supplies should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, uh, one other thing. When I was doing the research on how to best take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. There is scientific evidence that shows there may be something to the notion, but the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. It'll really pull the whole room together. You know, once we get the sink fixed. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. Where did they give you a map, but you're never able to freely move around or make any choices? It's all just scripted dialogue and cinematic scenes. So why would I have a map? So is that that's the meaning? Yeah, and this is how we move. Home and Stardust Club. Okay. Okay. Got any items? ID card and headphones. What are they called again? GX Ultra Beat Headphones Menu Save Why can't I why why does it have to be so so difficult? Okay, it worked. Well this has been your boy super. 2064 read only memories I'm really glad that you watched and it would help me out a lot if you could like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video